Hi, my name is Jeffrey Rubin, president of Testrite Instrument Company, Hackensack, New Jersey. Testrite is an OEM manufacturer. What does that mean? It means that we make parts for your products. Now, Testrite's been in business for 101 years, and in that time, we've made a wide variety of bases. So the base might be one piece of a project that we're making for you, or it might be all you need from us. We can make standard bases that we already have in stock and sell them to you, or we can make an entirely new base that's never existed before made to your specifications. Typically, minimums for something custom are 25, although with higher complexity, higher minimums may apply. The first thing we're going to be talking about today are round bases. These are typically made from flat, mild steel. The advantage of mild steel is less expensive, and it gives you a good amount of weight. We have a wide variety of base sizes, and we'll talk about each of them. There are four key criteria when specifying a round steel base. Diameter, thickness, attachment, and finally, color. First, the size. So in front of me, we have all of our standard round bases. Now, if we don't have a standard size that meets your needs, we can make a custom size. Typically, there's a minimum of 25 pieces to start on a custom base. Standard, we have our 19-inch round base, our 17-inch round, our 15-inch round, our 13-inch round, our 11-inch round, our 9-inch round, our 6 and 3 quarter inch round, and finally, our 3 and a quarter inch round. All of those are the diameter of the base. Now, for each of these bases, you'll see there are different types of attachments. The first I'll show you on our 19-inch round base are two countersunk holes. The nice thing about a countersunk hole is, after you insert the screw, it's very much flat, and so you won't need any sort of felt or bumpers if you don't want them. A countersink is very nice as long as your base is thick enough. This is a 3 16 inch base with a countersink for a quarter 20 screw. On the other end of the table here, I'll show you on our 6 and 3 quarter inch round base, we have a counter form. Now what's the difference between a counter sink and a counter form? A counter form on the back looks very similar. It has space for the screw head. On the top though, there's a disruption. So in a situation where you're going to be attaching a tube where there's plenty of clearance for the disruption, a counter form may be an option. Why do we use a counter form? You can hide a larger screw head given a thinner base. So this is counter form for a quarter 20 screw even though the base is only 1 8 inch thick, which you wouldn't be able to make a counter sink big enough for the screw head on this size base. So it helps you save a little bit of money on the steel uh, by using a different attachment operation. What you'll see most of the bases in front of me have aluminum bushings. So let's talk about what that is. So this is an aluminum bushing that is peened to the back of the base. Peening is very much like a stapling operation. So there's an aluminum bushing that is flattened to where the outer edges of the bushing spread out to secure the bushing to the base. So this is a permanent attachment. And then we include felt bumpers on the bottom of the base to make up the space so that this doesn't scratch your floor. Typically, we use one screw to attach a base bushing to your upright, although sometimes we can do two or three depending on the amount of strength you need or the amount of rigidity. What's really nice about the base bushing, if I take a base with one screw from the bottom, it's very nice and tight to start if you tighten the screw. We do a lot in retail though, and it turns out sometimes folks don't fully tighten that screw. Or over time, things get hit, things get knocked, it loosens up. And what can happen is your upright can start to tilt over. With a base bushing, because the bushing is always there supporting it, your upright's always going to be straight up and down. Even if the screw gets a little loose, your upright's going to be straight up and down. The trade-off, if you knock the upright from a stand with a base bushing, it'll move back and forth, but it'll always come back true. 90 degrees. With a screw from the bottom, that's not true. So it looks sturdier to begin with, but over time this one will start to wobble, whereas with our base bushings, you don't have to deal with that issue. The last criteria is color. So as you can see, everything in front of me is silver. We also stock these bases standard in black. If you need a different color, reach out and we'd be happy to give you a quote. Thank you very much for watching our base video. If you visit the Testrite OEM YouTube channel, you can find videos on round telescopic tubing, square telescopic tubing, and much more. 
Hopefully you found the base you were looking for today, in which case we're happy to quote it for you. If you didn't, please reach out with a sketch, a photograph, or just your musings about what you're looking for, and we'll do our best to help quote it for you. You can email rfq at testright.com or visit the website link below, www.testrightoem.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.